And hello everyone, welcome back once again to the Carnival Toy Review. I am, like always, your immortal toy master, Willow. And today, on Mecha Monday, I will be bringing to you the last two Zords from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 3. And here they are, the Ninjetti Ninja Zord and the Falcon Zord. And we'll do the Falcon Zord first because it's the easiest. And as you know, we will go in reverse. And I will show you how this connects to that. So this also connects to the Shogun Megazord. In this mode, he will come up, fold these bad mamma jammas down. He'll come up and he'll get clipped in with these ports on the side. Come in, clip, and then you can use it as a blaster. But as for this sword, it just opens and closes. In Japan, it had um, apparently a button to be able to do stuff with. Um, this would open in Japan, and you could put uh, batteries in it, but not in America. So that's how you know you don't have the Japanese one. And here it is, flying around. It's got a little bit of uh, sun damage. It's got some dusty dust on there, but you know, it's a little off-white, off-whitish from wherever I got it from, don't really remember. I've had a couple of these, um, had another one, turned it completely black, turned it into a, a crow, um, for my super common senshi Voltron Force, um, but yeah, here that is. It's got some stickers, right there, some gold, some more stickers, and there it is, and here is the Ninja Zord. And like I said, I will show you real fast how this goes on here. Put that back, put that up, pull his feet down, and he's pretty much just going to he's pretty much going to just clip in there like that, and then you have some wings on the Ninja Megazord. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. And then you just pull it off. And, yes, this is Tommy's in America. In Japan, he didn't have, um, the, there was no counterpart in Japan. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No counterpart in Japan. Um, Ranger. No, Ranger counterpart in Japan. Um, it was just a standalone mecha. So, and we will go in reverse. Let's pop head off first. It's that easy. Um, turns into a flying crane zord. Um, there it is. Got your boosters, got some stickers. Head can go like this. So, yeah, so... There that one is. We got some stickers here, some stickers up there, some stickers there, there, and more stickers, some paint, only right here, and that's about it. And we'll set that one down right there. And now for blue. And you'll fly this off. This piece does come off. It is a, I guess, um, protective cover for the wolf sword. This is Billy's wolf sword. Pull down. Fold out like that. And that's pretty much it for that one. Um, not really hiding the port there. Looks kind of like it's junk. So um, he's got two stickers, one on each side right here, and that's about it. The rest of this is all paint. Um, mouth does open and close, and tail goes up and down. And we have the red. Zord looks kind of like an ape head right there, like big old teeth. Um, but here he is. You will, um, trying to remember here, pull that down. They do not come apart. That'd be cool if they did. Um, pop this open, and there he is. Um, this is the only one that actually in this line. Um, if I had the battle bots, this is the only one that consistently stays looking like a battle bot. So, alright, let's go with our 
bear zord. Next up we have the bear zord. Um, Mia forgot, Mimi forgot how to um, take this, <laughs> work this bear zord here. Um, oh, here it is. Pull that out. Pull that one out, and there is the bear. Um, it's pretty cool, I guess. You could probably have the bear fart out, um, connect to the falcon zord, but that would just look like the falcon zord's having sex with a bear, so we don't need that on, on here. You get a little demonetized or something. Um, and as for stickers, you got stickers that wrap here, stickers that wrap here, some stickers up here, some paint app. Well, the rest of this is pretty much just molded in black and gray and silver. So, some silver paint on its teeth. And that is your bear zord. And last but not least, you pull him up. Pull his little froggy legs out. Pull his little froggy legs up. And twist his little froggy legs around. And you get the frog sword. And it, it's a frog. So this is the first frog. There is another frog. Beast Morphers should have came out with a frog. Because it would have tied these. Could have tied Ninja together with Beast Morphers. So they had a frog. They have a frog. There it is. Well, that is my Megazord review for the day, my Mechazord, Mecha Mech Zord review for the day. This is the Ninja Megazord. All Ninja Zords. Ciao! If you like this video, like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. What is your favorite Ninja Megazord? And always remember, Hen Shin.